When in doubt, follow the money. This ain't nothing but a money grab, bro. He's not torn. This is leverage. That's all this is. This is to try to get as much money or the sweetest of sweetheart deals out of the Green Bay Packers as possible, not just for him, but for his boys. He ain't sitting around tossing and turning at night trying to figure out whether or not he wants to finish his career in Green Bay or, or, or turn over a new leaf and, and start start fresh in Denver. He wants to Whoa. be in Green Bay. He just wants to be in Green Bay at his number. We'll have yeah. clarity come tomorrow. And he'll say, oh, I always wanted to be a Green Bay Packer. Oh, I, I, my heart never wavered. Don't believe all the stories about a deal in, in Denver and Pittsburgh and, and Tennessee. No, this is what I always wanted. So he's going to be able to have it both ways. He's going to be able to leverage them with the threat of leaving and then come back and okay. say he was never going to leave. So I had it both ways in the first conversation of the show about Russell Wilson by saying I like it for both teams and I do. Mm -hmm. uh, I think Aaron Rodgers. Um, this needed to happen for both sides. So first of all, a little housekeeping. The initial reports were four years, $200 million, 153 million fully guaranteed, such and such. Rodgers tweeted a little while ago. Hey, everyone just wanted to clear some things up. Yes. I will be playing with the Packers next year. However, reports about me signing a contract are inaccurate, as are the supposed terms of the contract I signed. Uh, I'm very excited to be back. Uh, year 18. I saw this and I was like, this is Aaron Rodgers basically being like, anything Tom Brady could do, I could do better. Just like Brady denied his retirement, I'm denying the, the terms of this, this reporting. It's probably something, semant something semantics related. Probably a small detail that's off here or there. He's probably upset because today was supposed to be Aaron Rodgers' day, and then along comes Russell Wilson waving his no trade clause to go to the Broncos. Having said all that, I'll get back to my larger point. He's exhausted. Rodgers is an opportunity. He's just exhausted. To do yes. it, 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 it's just exhausted. He's exhausted. He's exhausted. Rodgers has an opportunity love, to do. Love to fight. Love to fight. Rodgers has an opportunity to do what few quarterbacks, including the aforementioned Tom Brady and now Russell Wilson, have been able to do, which is finish his career in one place. Looking at the landscape of the AFC when it comes to quarterbacks, we've talked about this ad nauseum, so I sound like a broken record for people who've been paying attention, whether it's the AFC West or the AFC in general, and that now includes Russell Wilson. Staying with the Packers was his best clear path back to the Super Bowl. If he could also get his act together in the playoffs, because let's stop blaming just the special teams or lack of receivers not named Devontae Adams, who got tagged officially today, by the way. Um, and there's something iconic about being a Packer for life. One of the most storied franchises in the league, Rodgers gets to say he started his career and finished his career in title town. Uh, and I do think before it's all said and done, he'll bring another title to title town, but that's another conversation. From the Packers standpoint, they could not let a two time MVP go out, get out the door. They just could not. They could not be the team that traded a two time reigning MVP, still one of the best two and maybe not two quarterbacks in the NFL right now, postseason notwithstanding. You said a second ago, couldn't the Seahawks and Russell Wilson just work it out? The Packers had to work it out. They could not Brett Favre this thing again and watch him go and play for another team, given what he means to that franchise and that community, and they could not watch Aaron Rodgers, Tom Brady this thing, and worse, go and win a championship with another team the way Brady did with the Bucks. So, at the risk of being repetitive, and I won't say my uh, my favorite four words on this show. I'll just say it this way. This was the way it was always going to end. From the moment this started last offseason to today, this was the inevitable conclusion. It was just a matter of how and more specifically, how much. Yeah, well, if that's the case, I mean, really, it was much ado about nothing then, right? That's what you felt? You felt it was you, much ado you about just, nothing? You just said what I, what I said, except much quicker. Exactly. Uh, if time is money, we wasted a lot of both speculating on him going somewhere else. Okay, because Aaron Rodgers, as the highest paid player in NFL history, uh, that last part, you could, you know, change that name. Keep that part, uh, keep that headline there, and have about four or five names at the ready. Uh, the next contract for... Josh Allen, the next contract for uh, well, Patrick Mahomes, soon. the next. I, I mean, that's I know, but it's the next one. It's going to keep coming, though. It's going to keep the, the, the highest paid player in NFL history. That yeah. title is not going to be held for. He ain't going to hold that for five years. 
it's probably like three or four years. He Somebody might. else is going to have that. I mean, who's? No, I don't who, think I so. Mean, other than other than know. Lamar Jackson, know. well, well, you saying you saying right. it's temporary. Other than Lamar well, Jackson, yeah, it's temporary. Who I don't think they're going to pay him temporary. more than Aaron Rodgers, right? But temporary when another quarterback is in line to get a yeah. massive extension. So other than Lamar Jackson, tell me, you know, tell me the quarterback who's close to getting a contract that their team would look at the market and say, we're going to pay you more than Aaron Rodgers. It's a market setting contract for a reason. And in terms of the reported average value, it's $5 million a year more reportedly than Patrick Mahomes is making right now. So who's going to go ahead of Aaron Rodgers? I got a name. Thank you. Thank you for asking the question. I appreciate as as people always say the the disingenuous response. uh, uh, Michael, I appreciate the question. we haven't talked about this guy in a long time. Perhaps his name is Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson just said got two years left in this contract. He's being sent to a new team. Why does one wave a no trade clause? Uh, because something's in it for me. How badly do you want me? It's great that you've given up some draft capital and a couple of players, but what's in it for me? That'd be interesting. Because I, That'd be interesting. I got I got other I got other people who want me. I know Washington. I, don't, I, don't I know think- Daniel Snap. I know Daniel Snyder spends money. I don't think he deserves money somewhere else. I I don't think he deserves to be the highest paid player in the first year, but to your point deserves got nothing to do with it. It's about timing. So yeah, it could maybe maybe Denver breaks off Russell Wilson like that. Maybe but but highest paid quarterback in football. It's not a surprise. He's a two time MVP last well last two MVPs uh, great record the last four years in in Green Bay on and on and on about Aaron Rodgers. I think the the one thing that, that stood out to me, though, I thought he was torn. I did think he was torn. And it really came down to, do I want to spend the rest of my career here? Or this is my moment. I'm, at, I'm, I'm really at the peak of my powers now. The last two MVPs I've won, my previous MVPs, everybody's talking about me. This is my time where I can move. Do I want to stay here? The next several years or do I want to try something somewhere else? That was the only torn part. You're right. I mean, it probably was a 85% of them. 90% of them said Green Bay all the way and the other 10% in the back of his mind is some little fantasy. Hey, what if I did? What if I did go to Pittsburgh? You know, we learned today. You know, we learned today. Aaron Rodgers had a backup plan and so did the Broncos. Schefter says something like, you know, Russell Wilson going to Denver had nothing to do with Aaron Rodgers decision to stay in Green Bay that yeah. George Payton the Broncos exactly George Payton yeah, the Broncos yeah. general manager engaged the Seahawks two weeks ago. Yeah, because he knew he was being used by Aaron Rodgers. It was not just yeah, gonna yeah. sit on his hands and hope that Aaron Rodgers actually went to Denver. He had a backup plan in place. Are you not gonna tell me this timing is coincidental? Yeah, yeah. That it just yeah, so yeah, happened exactly, that the exactly. same morning Rodgers agrees to a contract that the Broncos uh, uh, announced that they've agreed to terms. I mean, and not to mention. Well, I will say this though. I will say this. One thing I will say to contradict myself is that there's no way that the Broncos social media department just off the top of their head had that uh, that picture of Wilson from Castaway just just all, all t- ready to that was saved in drafts. Somebody knew that oh, yeah. <laughs> this was on the way. Yeah. That was too perfect to tweet. Was so that was saved in drafts. That's the only thing that, that goes against my theory that Russell Wilson was the ultimate um, emergency Mike, rebound quarterback. Mike, I don't want to go too inside baseball. Um, but look, don't, don't you hate it though? Don't you? That's that's real nice job right there. Uh, don't you hate it when you uh, as a reporter because that's how we were raised. That's how we were wired. We're still wired that way. Can't help it. Can't turn it off. You never turn it off. Don't you hate it when you as a reporter, you're reading something, you're reading the tweet, reading the story and you say, all right, that's what the agent told you to say. Is that what the team told you to say? Come on, man. Like stop. Stop saying you. you he, I think Schefter does. I, look, I just got to say it. He tried way too hard to make the point. This had nothing to do with Russell Wilson, and that's not his point. That's somebody else's point that was that that they wanted him to emphasize. Get out of here. As they say in Britain, bollocks. That's bollocks. I mean, stop. Of course, it's connected. Their first option was Aaron Rodgers, and if they didn't get Aaron Rodgers, they weren't going to leave the party without somebody. So Rodgers was the first choice. That wasn't happening. Second choice is Russell Wilson. Good for them. They got a quarterback. 
They haven't had a quarterback since 2015. Well, really, even before that, because Peyton in 2015 wasn't great. So they haven't yeah, every had time a quarterback somebody says since Peyton Manning, I think about his last year. I'm glad you said that. Every time somebody been, they've been looking for a quarterback since Peyton Manning. Well, yeah, but last we saw Peyton Manning, it was uh, it was his walking, breathing. Uh, nice course. job, Kimberly. But nice job, let's, Kimberly. Let's, un let's unpack this. Let's unpack this a little bit. Let's play devil's advocate with ourselves. We're convinced that the yeah. Broncos immediately pivoted to their backup plan. But I wonder though, and this goes like so. I'm 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 gonna make sure I don't contradict myself and that I put all these pieces together the way I love to do. Another reason why I never thought that Rodgers was going to go anywhere was because compensation for Rodgers plus compensation for the Packers makes this a very, very complicated trade to pull off given mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what he was due this year to make in the final year of his contract. Unlike Russell Wilson. If Russell Wilson was in fact Denver's backup plan, my question would be, follow me here, should he have, have been? Because presumably, I know it's just in a vacuum. In a vacuum, if I were making a trade in Madden, my price for the two-time reigning MVP in Aaron Rodgers would be higher than it would be for Russell Wilson in terms of what I want in return. That's one. Two, Russell Wilson is what, four years younger than Aaron Rodgers? with no talk about retiring or anything like that anytime soon. No, I mean, he's got outside right, interest. Right. Don't get me wrong, but no question about his long term future. So I guess what I'm saying is if even if we're right uh, and sources are wrong that the Broncos got Russell Wilson independent of Aaron Rodgers decision to stay put. Yeah, that's some. <laughs> they may have arguably all things considered though, Michael, my point is the yeah. Broncos may have arguably made out better. I mean, Russell Wilson is not there's no there's not a huge gap between Aaron Rodgers and Russell Wilson. Number one, number two, right? They probably as much as they gave to Seattle, they probably got it for cheaper than what it would have cost hypothetically to get it from Green I'm not Bay. Sure. And number three sure. is four I'm years sure younger. All right. Yeah, I'm not well, sure, I'm not sure that either. Price. I'm simply spitballing. Well, but, well, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm spitballing. Well, it, well, I'm I'm responding to your. I'm not saying it's factual. I'm saying I'm responding to your spitball in that you mentioned the, the age With difference. With more spitballing. Uh, the age difference. <laughs> yeah, the age difference to me factors into the compensation. So let, let's say Aaron Rodgers is better than Russell Wilson and better numbers and all this stuff, but he is older. So I'm as 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 the as the buyer. I'm going in and saying, yeah, yeah, he's great, but I don't know how long I'm going to have him. I might have Russell Wilson for another eight years. I may have Aaron Rodgers for another three, and I'm just not going to give you everything I've got for three years. I will for eight. I, I won't for three. So that's just that's just the way I would look at it. But you know, maybe Denver is looking at it in a different way. And here's the other thing. I just want to make this clear. If you're talking about a uh, a backup plan. You mentioned yesterday, you mentioned Prince and Stevie Wonder. Oh, if Prince is my backup, it's still pretty good, right? So it's not like yeah. a pejorative that it's Russell slight, Wilson was no. a backup plan. Sure, he's a backup plan, but your your plan A was Aaron Rodgers. And your plan MVP, B yeah. is Russell Wilson. Fine. Well, I'm the Broncos, good. the Broncos Either are way. certainly incentivized to not make Russell Wilson feel like he was the rebound QB. And, 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 and the backup QB. So I could see why Denver would be inclined to put this narrative out there that, oh, we always wanted Russell. He was always our guy, same as the draft. One other thing I want to touch on before we, uh, before we hit this break is, okay, what does this mean now for the quarterback landscape or the quarterback game of dominoes? Roger stays. The Denver vacancy is filled by Russell Wilson, which creates a vacancy in Seattle for the long term. Um, I guess it's Deshaun Watson who eventually inevitably maybe we'll see we don't know whether he's available to play and if teams are comfortable enough to make a move for him. I guess he's the, the next big shooter drop when it comes to quarterbacks. The other one that's fascinating though is Jordan Love because before the Russell Wilson trade broke. I felt like Jordan Love to Denver made a lot of sense for like a third or fourth round pick reunited with Nathaniel Hackett, you know, salvage something from that that um, that draft pick a couple of years ago. It'll be interesting to see what happens with Jordan Love now that Rodgers yeah. is locked up for the long term. So uh, 
Fun day. Why, really, hey, really, really, really fun day. Again, fun for everybody except the people that's got to defend these quarterbacks in the AFC. Not just the AFC West, the entire conference. Loaded. And fun for, loaded at fun for everybody. Fun for everybody except for the folks in, uh, in the Pacific Northwest. You just lost your quarterback, man. Uh, yeah, draft picks is fun. It, it'll be fun. I'll tell you what. It'll be fun on draft day. You'll be really excited on draft day. Then the season will start. Ooh, that's rough. No Russell Wilson. Did I mention? Did I mention he had a list? I, if I'm if I'm a Seattle fan, I'm relieved that it's over. Turn the page. It, it, listen, it was cool. Yeah. It was cool. We won a I, Super Bowl way back it. back when. Legion yeah, of Boom days yeah, are gone. Over. He's getting older. Yeah. Hey, thanks for watching, brother from another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave, and be sure to watch us three to five p.m. Eastern time on Peacock. Appreciate you.